Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use multiple auth cards in a given route. Okay, so this is the application that uh, we have it in the GitHub repository. So I have done some initial setup to make this video easy. So basically, when you try to log into the product, it will ask you to log in. And if you try to go to this uh, admin section, it is not just about login, it, you have to be an admin. So we are going to pretend that based on the username, uh, whether we will determine it as an admin or not. So let's do this. Let's go here to the product login. This is a normal user. So if I go to the product, it won't go. It will put me outside. Let's refresh this. Let's go to admin. If I log in with admin, it logged me into this manage product which is the admin section. You can see this, right? Now let's see how we implemented this. So this is the uh, routing module code and you can see on can activate guard, there was one card called auth guard. And for the admin section, it auth guard as well as the admin guard. So both has to send a true, only then this route is activated. Like this, you can add n number of guards. So basically you can add n number of guards here. Every single card that you add here has to be uh, sending a true only then this route will get uh, activated. Okay, let's go inside this auth card and see what we are doing. So basically, the auth card is checking the user has logged in or not. As long as the user is logged in, this will allow the product to be success. The product model can load. But in admin section, as long as the login is done, it will go and check the admin section. In admin section, basically, we are checking. Um, whether the, the user who has logged in is an admin or not. If it is admin, we say it's true. If not, we just show them that you have logged in, but you have to be an admin. Okay, so both the card will just check whether it is returning a true, and then based on that, it will send us. Let's try this out one more time. I'm going to refresh this page, go to this admin section, and I'm going to say just my name, and let's see what happens. You see this? Only admin has access to the managed product. So it, it allowed me to log in, but it kicked me outside this route, right? So that's how you implement more than one auth guard in a route. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Put your comments in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.